Hi everyone, it's Coop here, sending you much love wherever you are right now. I recently received an email from someone saying, Coot, I hate, hate, underscore, hate my job. What should I do? I hate it. What should I do? Can any of you relate or any of you out there having the sense of feeling dread when you go to work? The sense of like this overwhelming frustration at work that you feel that you're not really giving your gifts. You have other dreams brewing inside of you. You feel not honored and you just hating your job. If any of you feel that way, just, you know, raise your hand wherever you are. You know who you are. So when this person asks me, what should I do? I hate my job. If you hate your job, my advice is to not settle. I believe in life that you get what you settle for. And if you're settling for a job that you hate, you simply perpetuate and continue to get more of what you hate. And by staying in a job that you hate, you are actually affirming, you are affirming the limitation of the universe, you are affirming in your belief in lack and scarcity by staying in a job that you hate. So you need to decide what you really want. You need to decide how much your freedom is worth. I believe that there's nothing that is worth your freedom and obviously, Part of why you haven't left your job, part of why you haven't handed in your re resignation perhaps, is because you're afraid. You're afraid of how will I survive, how will I make money, how will I, how will I eat, how, what, what will happen in my future. I believe that nothing, nothing is worth, nothing is worth your freedom. Nothing is worth your freedom. See, each second of life is precious. And when you die, my friend, when we die, we can't go to God and get a refund. When we die, we can't go to God and say, please give me back those three years, two years, one year, one month, one day that we may have wasted in a job that was totally out of alignment with ourselves. We, we can't get that back ever again. So feel how you feel and I invite you to let the feeling of frustration, to let the feeling of how much you hate your job, feel that. Don't distract from it. Don't deny it. Feel it because if you feel the truth, most of us were so busy avoiding the feeling of how much we hate our jobs. Let's say you hate your job. We were often avoiding that feeling. So don't avoid it. Feel it because if you feel it long enough and if you, if you just acknowledge it, feel it, it will burn you up and eventually you will have to take a step, a stand, an action to move you towards your vision. So I invite you to get clear. What, it, what, what is it that you really want? What is it that you really want to do? What is it that you, what is the job experience that you'd like to have? What is your ideal scene in terms of the experience you'd like to have in your vocation? in your expression. And if you don't know, I invite you to ask yourself, is that really true that you don't know or is that just another uh, uh, diversion or game of confusion or is that just another excuse to not leave playing a game of confusion that you don't know? That's number one. Number two, if you didn't know, what would you do? If money was no object, what would you do? What would you create? Number th number number four, I invite you to also ask yourself, what are your gifts? What are your, What's your unique experience? What's your gift? Uh, and what problems are you really good at solving. The bottom line, my friend, is that you, we, we all have a unique gift. We all have a unique gift to give and by you not giving your gift and staying stuck in a job that you hate and compromising and settling is robbing not just you of fulfillment and joy and expression, but robbing the world of that unique expression and gift. The other question you can ask yourself if you're not sure, what do I do, what do I do, I, I hate my job but I'm not sure what to do, is ask yourself, what would you do, we often ask ourselves, what would, what would you do if you knew you couldn't fail? I like to ask the question, what would you do even if you knew you would fail? What would you pursue and do even if you knew you would fail? Even with those odds. What would you do? Because if you know you might fail and there's a possibility, which there is, and there's a chance and there's a likelihood and, and it may happen and you still feel moved, you still feel the calling, you still feel something authentic in your soul, then I'm going to invite you to go in that direction. 
because you won't stop just because you face a setback on the path. You won't stop just because maybe uh, your business doesn't work out or a new venture doesn't work out. Go in that direction. Your dreams have chosen you for a reason because you're the perfect person who's able to fulfill it. So what would you do even if you knew you might fail? Go do that. Because chances are, as you move in the direction of your vision, you're going to face some challenges, you're going to face some obstacles, you're going to face some roadblocks. It might get challenging along the way, but if you, need, if you feel the calling that strongly, you won't let anything get in your way. So if you're in a job that you hate, I often ask folks who are doing jobs that they hate, what did you do today? What actions did you take today that's actually going to move you out of your current situation, that's going to shift your current situation? What did you do today that was different from yesterday? How much time did you spend today working on what you actually want, where you actually want to go? Many times we're in a job we hate and we're constantly complaining. We're complaining about our reality. We're complaining about a situation. Stop complaining. Stop going of things, stop looking at other people, stop comparing yourself because all of that distracts you from your own power, all of that distracts you from the actions that you can take and be responsible for. So each day make sure you are actually working on creating your new reality. Make sure you are taking actions that will move you out of your current situation. And whilst you are working the job that you hate, I invite you to be impeccable with your intention and your energy and to also do the best job that you can while you are in the job you hate because if you give everything and do the best job you can while you are in the job that you hate you will elevate your energy you will shift your vibration you will open your heart and you will begin to unlock potential inside of you that will help you transcend your current level your current situation and you will start to earn the right for the next level of your life and often what I've seen, the thing that stops us from really pursuing our dreams, from leaving the job we hate, is fear. We're afraid of looking bad and not looking good and what will people think and failing and falling flat on our faces and looking stupid. But the bottom line, remember my friends, life is short. And if you absolutely had to, if, you, if the lives of your loved ones was on the line, if you had to create the next level, if you had to leave your job and you had to create a different way of making money, a different way of expressing a different job, you absolutely had to do that. Could you do it? If everyone you love, if their lives were on the line right now and you would not see them for the rest of your life unless you shifted, you left the job and within six months, within a year, created a new experience and a new reality, could you do it? Could you? I would say the majority of us, if we're really honest, say yes. We have the resources inside of us. You have the resources inside of you right now to create the next level. But most of us have never made a decision. Most of us have never made a commitment. And most of us have never made it an absolute must. We haven't committed. So I invite you, my friends, if you're in a job that you hate, make a decision to leave because life gives no refunds and make an absolute commitment like never before. You deserve it. The world deserves it. The world is waiting for you. If you enjoyed this blog, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, enter your email and I'll be sending you weekly inspiration. Big love. Love now.